Texas, March 10th, 2022. Fishing guide David Foreman is sailing at Rhodes Point in Cox Bay near Port Lavaca and spots a rather strange sight. Running back and forth near the shoreline is a tall and slender pink flamingo. Stunned at seeing such an iconic bird so far away from its natural habitat, Foreman pulls out his smartphone and begins recording. The 25-second video is soon posted online and before long spreads across social media. For the next week, the Texas Parks and Wildlife Division will find themselves caught in the middle of a bizarre international affair. They discover that the flockless flamingo isn't just lost, he's a fugitive, on the run for 17 years. It all began for our feathered friend in February of 2003, when as a wee lad of three years old, the pink African flamingo found himself shoved unceremoniously into a transport vehicle outbound from Tanzania. Ripped from his home and family, the bothered bird was sent to the United States and arrived in a crate with 40 fellow flamingos to Sedgwick County Zoo in Wichita, Kansas. There, he was christened Flamingo Number 492 and sentenced to live the rest of his days entertaining the human populace. Normally upon arrival, the Kansas Zoo amputates part of a bird's wings to prevent any inmates from flying the coop, but staffers decided the operation would be unethical in 492's case because he had already reached adulthood. Instead, 492 would have his wings clipped yearly, along with a few other adult birds at the facility. No different than an annual haircut. Over the next two years, 492 would become friends with Flamingo 347. Details of their bond remain murky, but suffice it to say the two shared a common desire for freedom. When 2005 rolled around, the pair hatched a daring escape plan. Quietly regrowing their feathers and building up the stamina for a full-on flight, the two eluded the eyes of zookeepers during yearly checkups and managed to keep their wings. Then, one morning in June, the birds saw their chance. After being let out for their daily trot around the open-air exhibit, Flamingos 492 and 347 took off. The flight was a rough one. Out of practice since their capture, the two flamingos landed just a short distance away from the facility in a drainage canal, and there took shelter. For several days, they tended to each other and worked to regain their strength, and on the 4th of July, Independence Day, the pair flew away from Wichita for good. Once off the grid, the two birds mostly avoided the eyes of the general public, though as they traveled across the U.S. of A, bird watchers managed to catch a few pictures here and there, spotting them in Wisconsin and Louisiana. By the next year, it became apparent that 492 and 347 had, at some point, parted ways. Many speculate that 347 had not survived the winter, but Flamingo 492 found a way. Toward the end of 2006, he crossed paths with a Caribbean flamingo that had likely been blown off course during a tropical storm. Flamingos are social creatures, and the two birds became long-term companions, having been spotted together several times over the years until 2013. The ultimate fate of 492's Caribbean friend remains unknown. The Sedgwick County Zoo has made little effort to try to recapture Flamingo 492, aka Pink Floyd, over the years. The bird lacks any geolocator devices, simply bearing an inmate tag on his leg as an identifier. Tracking 492 has repeatedly proved incredibly difficult. For the most part, 492 appears to distrust humans, regularly keeping his distance and quickly disappearing from the scene before gathering heavy attention. Until, of course, one fateful day in Port Lavaca, Texas. 
17 years after his initial escape, Flamingo 492 is caught on video. Communication between Texas Parks and Wildlife Division and the Sedgwick County Zoo in Wichita confirmed that the fugitive Flamingo is alive and well, and not heading back to Kansas anytime soon. Over 700 miles away from Sedgwick County, his new digs in Texas provide a satisfactory environment. High temperatures and shallow wetlands give him plenty of food, and nearby roseate spoonbills likely make him feel right at home. It's not quite his native homeland, but for Flamingo 492, it'll do. He's led a life like none other, one of mystery and intrigue, taken from his home at an early age, escaped from captivity, enduring environmental hardship, befriended on occasion by birds of a common ilk, and now living it up by himself in the Lone Star State. At 20 years of age, he's halfway through his life expectancy. So what's next for number 492? He doesn't seem rattled. The future is wherever the winds and the waves take him. This video was sponsored by Squarespace. Maybe you're a flamingo traveling the world, and you want to share your adventures with others. The best way to do it is with your own personalized website. Squarespace gives you everything you need to get started. Choose from one of their many stunning customizable templates, and then shape it to your specific needs. If you want to start a flamingo podcast, their audio blocks feature makes the process a total breeze. If you're brooding over building an online community, you'll love their new member areas feature, and if you've got an idea for a business, their online storefronts will have you soaring through the air in no time. You can get started today by going to squarespace.com and beginning a free trial. If you like the experience, then when you're ready to take flight, head over to squarespace.com slash Austin McConnell, and you can save 10% on your first purchase of a website or domain.